Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. This is Manny. I'm here with Vander. And today we're going to talk about the monk subclasses in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, um, the Way of Mercy and Way of the Astral Self. And before we begin, Vander is going to explain to us some of the optional features. Hi, guys. Before we get into the new ways you can physically kick some butt with your hands and feet, we're going to talk about some of the new things you get along with that. Uh, so the monk subclass, the monk in general, has four new optional class features. At second level, they get dedicated weapon. So you can now uh, choose one weapon per long or short rest to add to your, uh, not repertoire, to your uh, your quiver, so to speak, your cache of weapons, um, and turn it into a monk weapon, meaning that you can use it for all your different specifically monk weapon related attacks, which is pretty great. Uh, has to lack some features like being heavy or special properties and you have to be proficient with it but otherwise that pretty uh pretty open area um uh third level gets you key fueled attacks so uh when you spend a key point to uh uh part of your as part of your action for your turn you can make an attack as an an arm strike or a monk weapon for a bonus action so if you are using it to try to stun somebody or if you're using it to uh, bonus, uh, I guess not bonus action, but use your main action to, with key points. You now have additional options to do for your bonus action, which is great. Uh, fourth level, uh, we have quickened healing. So finally, well, more so in this now with uh, mercy, but finally the monks can do some healing uh, at the cost of two key points and your action, which is a lot, but this is probably desperate times, desperate measure stuff. Um, you guys have seen. Uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker, right? Uh, no. um, <laughs> uh, we're getting a number of hit points equal to the number rolled on the dies and for using up a martial die. Uh, and then you get your provisions, to be honest. So not great healing, but again, desperate times, desperate measures. And at fifth level, you get focused aim. So when you miss an attack, so when your DM tells you that you have missed, you can spend one to three key points to raise your attack by two for each key point you use. So up to potentially six extra um, on your score for hitting. So you can potentially turn a miss into a hit at, a, again, a critical moment or whenever you want. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to use your key points. Use them how you see fit. Um, either way, Manny, we're going to talk about Way of Mercy first. Would you like to talk about some of your likes, your dislikes, your passions, the flaws? <laughs> um, it's a very interesting subclass. It's it's Way of Mercy is kind of a combination of a plague doctor, jester, martial artist. <laughs> um, the most interesting thing, in my opinion, about it is the hand of healing and the hand of harm, um, which everything, every feature that goes above it uh, is all it all comes from comes from that set. It's very interesting, you know, so you have the, the option of uh, when you when you strike someone, you can heal them or harm them, um, use their necrotic uh, damage to harm someone, or you can use it to, to heal someone using your, your key points. Um, and then as you gain up higher in level, um, it, it, you can adapt it so you get added to your flurry, flurry of blows, which if you use it to, to help someone, it doesn't take up a, an extra key point. Um, but if you use it to harm someone, you can only use it like once during that during that attack. Um, so it's, it's that, that's what I, it's, it's, it's a, it looks like it's a, it's a fun subclass. I'm not sure the inspirations um, behind it, but it looks, it looks, I like the, I like the premise behind it. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure uh, where exactly it came from, but it, it does very much have play, play doctor feels. And it's kind of like that of being like part of a tradition, oh, the way of mercy, like being part of a, a sect that's all about uh, dealing out mercy in positive and negative ways towards people, which I love. Uh, personally, I, I mean, I love the level 17 feet but i mean by level 17 i think it's a little overdone but i actually really enjoy implements of mercy uh that you get at third level um so you get proficiency with insight and medicine and you gain proficiency with the herbalism kit uh you also get a special mask so i like the proficiencies because i think monks should have a little more i think they should have at least one more skill proficiency in general um because as a monk you probably gain your skills by doing certain 
tasks a lot from e either meager or otherwise. Um, so in this case, they give them straight to you as part of uh, part of your build, which I think is a, a good way to do it. Two skills and herbalism proficiency, I think is great. And then special masks, uh, sort of like a defining feature of what either the sect of the Way of the Mercy or you yourself are from. They give options, but I'm sure you could make up some as you always can. Uh, you have a raven, a butterfly mask, a skull mask, uh, a black and white mask, or uh, a crafting, uh, crafting, a crying or laughing visage mask. Sort of uh, the um, the theater arts type with the laughing and crying uh, symbology. Physician's touch. Um, I it's it, I like that the idea that um, they can help um, someone that's been blinded or paralyzed or anything like that. The reason why I like it, it from from a role playing perspective perspective it reminds me of uh my old like these old kung fu movies um uh, like the shaw brothers things like that where um when they uh these movies where that these martial artists have these like almost like these supernatural uh powers where they can um uh, they can uh, impair you in some way or they can heal you in some way by certain touches um uh so that that i i i like i like that that's been added to this See, when I read Physician's Touch, it makes me think of the the new Draconic subclass they made and like how much, how th here they knew that they could put in really interesting, unique features that weren't all damage type. And it really annoys me that if you check out our other video about it, you know, they made the other thing total damage dealer when like they know here that there can be more versatility. And you see that with the proficiencies, with the healing versus harming, with uh, the ability to heal diseases and conditions. Um, and then at level 17, you get Hand of the Ultimate Mercy, which lets you revive someone, bring it back to life if they've died in the last 24 hours, which uh, I mean, that's great. Like, that is such a great way to potentially not lose a party member or mm. someone of importance who gets poisoned in the middle of the night or something uh i think that's a, a great feature you get 40 10 plus wisdom health pack you cure them of any conditions it does not say uh limbs are re reattached or regrown mm. so i do like that because it I think for being the ultimate mercy, it means that to be brought back, you need to deal with your new life with the way that you are. And I love it. Mm. Love, 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 love. So let's talk now about way of the astral self. Um, it's, it's a very interesting subclass where you pretty much develop these astral uh, projection of, of yourself in some way. Um, it, first you start getting a, a new pair of, uh, of, um, uh, astral arms, um, like spirit arms, um, and then later on you get a, a helmet or, or a head, and then um, finally you get the, the whole body. And I think that's really cool visually, because if if you're from a like I was I was thinking Legend of Five Rings, and I can imagine like someone from the Scorpion Clan, um, like developing like um, uh, like these like you know the hands of the first the hands of the scorpion and then eventually the the face and eventually the the whole body. Um, I think visually that sounds really good, um, but what it can actually do, um, well, again, just like the other subclass, it builds on itself. So it's hard for me to say, oh, I like this because everything, uh, every feature that goes beyond third level, it's built on what was first introduced at third level. Uh, you can summer, summon them all separately. So you can summon the arms or just the helm slash visage slash head or the body, but then you can also combine them all and it costs less. It's more cost effective that way because it's all it all revolves around key points as it does with monks. But yeah, it's a variety of effects and they're all different too. Again, I really like when they give you a lot of different role play and uh, like they make you a Swiss army knife. They make you useful in a variety of situations, which is great. Uh, yeah. This is actually being used by uh, the monk in my Descent into Avernus campaign. And she loves using some portions of these. She is a tiefling with, um, a, with Valkyrie arms and growing a Valkyrie visage, which I think is really cool. Oh, that is really awesome. Um, I like that with the arms of the astral self that you don't have to, the 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 spirit arms uh, spirit limbs don't have to you have to 
don't have to be that close to your opponent. It could go up to, it could just gives, gives you like a five feet of extra range mm -hmm. to attack your opponent. I think that's really, that's really great. Um, it, could, it, 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 it helps you out with certain situations because <laughs> I'm like, you have to be always in the front lines, always fighting uh, face to face. And this helps you uh, uh, avoid that. Well, one of the big issues with Arms of the Astral Self in originally with the before they the adjustment is it costs two key points to summon them. So at third level, it costs two of your three key points. Uh, and all it did was summon the arms. Now it's one key point and you sort of get this little wave effect within a 10 foot radius that is a saving throw and does a little bit of damage. So it is much more useful and it's much more likely that someone is going to use it now as opposed to before where my character, the character in the campaign, I did barely got to use it because it is two key points. Like, uh, like even at fourth level, that's half of your key points are gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it also lets you use wisdom as in place of your dexterity or strength modifier for attacks and damage, which I mean, as a monk, if you want to build very much that wise and monk without any real physical capabilities, now you can. You can have like a wise, intelligent, charismatic monk and pump all of your stats into that and still make it work really well. Visage of the Astral Self, the, the helmet part of it is pretty cool. You um, uh, you can normally see in, in darkness, but magical, not magical. That's great. I love that you have advantage on uh, wisdom and charisma checks. I think that's kind of cool. You know, you just look intimidating, which yeah, I could see that being if you know, um, and a word of the spirit. You know, you speak, and a uh, creature of your choice can see, um, can see you within sixty feet of you. Um, that's pretty cool. And it keeps going. You get a uh, body of your astral self, where you get a few more abilities that enhance the arms, and it basically at that point it's almost maybe not complete, but like a full visage that is attached to your body as you fight, which is great. And then at uh 17th level you get your final feature um basically it's a set five key points to summon everything at once uh which is cheaper than the other individual way you had to spend it you also get a plus two to your armor class so now if you're pumping your stats right you're pretty hard to hit for normal foes and you your extra attack is a lot higher um you, you can do like i think six attacks with this monk by the end of it which is crazy mm. <laughs> uh, let us know what you think of these subclasses in the comments below like and subscribe you know the drill and i'll see you too for more of us talking about these uh incredible subclasses have a great day